only been here about a week and a half. It feels like it's been like almost a lifetime. Manny Akutiel is the well-known owner of Manny's in San Francisco. He first got to Israel last Wednesday. You know, I came here to see my family. They live here and to celebrate with them. Instead, he says it's been a living nightmare. I woke up in my sister's home and heard sonic booms overhead and spent that entire day in and out of bomb shelters. For days, Akutiel has been experiencing firsthand what many of us have only seen through news footage. I saw hundreds of children uh, in synagogues run for cover uh, and protect themselves or have their parents protect them. I've had I've stayed in Tel Aviv, two blocks away from an apartment that was blown up by a missile strike. For the last four days, he spent time volunteering in Tel Aviv. The food is being packaged. He and other volunteers packaging up food and other essentials for soldiers and families who have lost loved ones. I've decided to be as, as useful as I can. And also now I'm in the stage where I'm trying to figure out how if I can get home. Kutiel was originally supposed to come back Monday night, but says he's had multiple flights canceled on him since. Thursday, he was sent this email from the State Department. Basically said, I'll be getting a phone call and I'll either be getting on a boat or a plane. Kutiel shared the email with us, sent from a U.S. government email address. It offers U.S. assistance to get out of Israel via plane or ship to either Germany, Greece, or Cyprus. Getting back to the U.S. after that is on Manny, and he'll have to pay for it, too. The email says before departing, passengers will be asked to sign an agreement to repay the U.S. government. Ukutio says he still has not had time to process what he's witnessed, but it's forever changed how he views his life back in the United States. Warfare, whole cities being shut down, whole cities being evacuated. It just makes the things that people find important to fight about in the Bay Area, it puts them in perspective.